On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? Okay. Now, uh, the mentors are already standing up, so this works really well. Mentors, do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Say we do. We do. Okay. Also, now at the whole congregation would rise and stand together. And you will respond where the dark bold letters are. Do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another in Christian faith and life and include these persons now before you in your care? We do. With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust of God and may be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the Let us join together in the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Okay, in this next section, when we say Catholic Church, we don't mean the Roman Catholic Church. Catholic just means the universal church of Jesus Christ. 
Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. You can be seated as we continue on with the thanksgiving over the water. The whole congregation will respond. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's pray together. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you sent the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought forth through the Jordan to the land which you promised. Sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured the waters of the womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your Holy Spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and make disciples of all nations. He declared his works to the nations, his glory among all the people. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless these gifts of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. At this time, who is going to be first to come up to be baptized? You come up with the immediate family and your mentor. I don't know how much you're going to splash. So you're going to go first, Jackson? Okay, make sure you have his hand. some things I wanted to say before the boys come back out and we finish um, confirming them and they actually become members in the church. And membership does not save anybody. Um, you know, I had some of the boys in our class this year, not, not these boys, but they were all excited about becoming members or that was the most important thing. But uh, the most important thing is I'm going to follow Jesus Christ. Baptism doesn't save us. 
Baptism doesn't wash away our sins. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that takes away our sins. And it's our belief in him. But it's more than just believing in him. It's saying, I want to follow you, Jesus. I'm going to obey you. I'm going to be your disciple. I'm going to be a follower of you, not a fan. We have a lot of fans, but very few followers. And we boys learned today in the review class that Jesus said, the road that leads to heaven is narrow, and the gate is narrow, and few that find it. And the road that leads to destruction is wide, and many take that road. So church membership doesn't really mean anything. But for them to be confirmed, what we're doing when we put the stole on them is we're asking them to say, I want to be a member of this local church, and I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit so I can serve him and bring the name of Jesus Christ and the gospel to the rest of the world. And so when they put those stoles on, I'm going to say to them, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then that's up to them to seek after God, to be filled with the Spirit every day. Because it's easy to live by our own flesh, our own carnal ways. That's a very easy thing to do. And that's the wide road. And I love the comparison that my wife gave today. Because one of the kids came in, I interviewed them before they can go through, you know. And uh, no one's ever failed. And one of them said, well, the narrow road is the hard way. God makes it hard for us to follow him. And I said, no, 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 no. No, it's easy once we really love Jesus. We'll want to follow him. He doesn't make it hard. And the comparison was if Patrick Mahomes invited, I called you up and said, hey, you want to hang out? Let's go get some pizza. Let's do some things together. You, I said to the boys, you wouldn't look at your phone or your calendar and say, gee, I don't know if I got enough time. I can't clear my calendar for you, Patrick. No, they would say, oh, whatever, wh where do you want to meet? You want to spend time with me? And Patrick Mahomes wants to have a relationship with me? You better be sure that would be easy, that would be fun, that would be enjoyable, that would be rewarding. And that's the way it is with Jesus, the creator of the whole universe, wants to have a relationship with us, with you. That's better than spending time with Patrick Mahomes any day. So it, it's not the hard road, it's the road that we surrender to him. And so that's what these boys have been showing you today with their baptism and with their confirmation. Um, we do have some gifts up here for them. I'm gonna ask that the mentors Try to find a pen somewhere and sign their baptism certificate before we leave. You left your brother in, in the dust. <laughs> My wife most of the teaching for confirmation. I want to thank her for that. Every time she teaches, I learn something. I've been, I've been pastoring for um, too long. No, I've been pastoring for 40 years, and she always comes up with new angles and new ways of making the good news of Jesus Christ more interesting and getting it on a level that an adult and a child can understand at the same time. Um, I, so I, I thank you for that. I don't sing your praises enough, so I'll do it right now. <laughs> Most of the time, it's, it's dangerous to be in a pastor's family because you know that the sermon's going to be about you once in a while. That's why my kids don't ever come to visit, okay? They, they know they're going to have a sermon. They just making sure his hair is right. Is that what's going on in there? We don't have a mirror. There he is. Okay, I need you two guys to, you two young men to stand here. I want you to answer these questions. We're um, 
calendar where it says reception into the United Methodist Church. This is where you're actually becoming a member here at Hammer Memorial and the whole United Methodist Church in the whole world. Which is pretty big. Okay, reception into the United Methodist Church. Are you there? Okay. As members of Christ Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all your power to strengthen its ministries? Okay. As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service, and your witness? Okay. Congregation, members of the household of God, I commend these two boys to your love and your care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Let's pray together. We give thanks for you all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love as members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. That is everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. God of all grace, who has called you to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you with the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. I'll be with you in just a second. We thank you for Jackson and Landon that they have made this step of faith to say, I'm going to follow Jesus Christ. I'm going to not go the way of the world, but I'm going to follow the Lord God Almighty. So we pray, God, that you would anoint them with your Holy Spirit, that you would call them to the ministry that you have for them in this life. Help them to serve you all the days of their life. Give them a hunger and thirst for your truth and for righteousness. And Lord, that they will continually seek to be filled with your Holy Spirit and endued with power from on high. As we ask it in the name of Jesus. And everybody agreed by saying, Amen. 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 We're really proud of you. God bless. Take any pictures you want. <laughs>
got to have one with the pastor. Right. You stand real close together. What? Oh, yeah. Well, it's the comfort. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you more.